Reading, writing, and arithmetic are the building blocks of an education built on a foundation of community. I feel like I almost took that for granted. In March of 2020, the pandemic forced all schools in Massachusetts to close. Bishop Fenwick Sr., Brianna Benoit, says the pivot to remote online learning took a toll on students. Some of my friends, like their only children, are like they're not close with like their parents or something. So not everyone has the easiest, most perfect environment at home. It's like going to school, going to a club, doing sports, stuff like that. It's like that's really a lot of people's like outlet and escape for things. COVID complicated matters for every school, including more than 100 schools in the Catholic Archdiocese of Boston that rely on tuition to fund operations. Superintendent Tom Carroll. Last year we had roughly 32,500 kids. When the pandemic hit, what happened right away is uh, we entered into a pretty profound financial crisis. Carroll says some families were unable to keep paying tuition for virtual learning and before and after school programs came to a halt. There was a big financial hit there. We had 11 schools close. That was the largest closure in 50 years in the Boston Archdiocese. And then looking forward into the current school year, our estimates were based on who had already enrolled for the following year. Our enrollment was down by 5,700 children. So we had a drop of almost 17% in one year. So that would have been catastrophic. In the summer of 2020, the Archdiocese made the decision that students would return to in-person learning in the fall with hybrid and fully remote options available to parents. We believe that every child is created in the image and likeness of God. And if you believe that with all your heart and soul, you simply cannot strand kids. When it became clear in July that most other districts, including Boston, would delay reopening and many would offer remote only learning, Carol says there was a burst of renewed interest in Catholic schools. When that hit the six o'clock news, every one of our hundred schools across the archdiocese, the phone started ringing off the hook and the calls did not stop until the middle of October. The enrollment boost is a pandemic silver lining for Catholic schools in the Boston Archdiocese. According to Superintendent Carroll, enrollment is up by about 4,400 students since July 15th. Year over year, enrollment is still down by 1,300 students, 80% of those students in preschool grades. So what happened is as people started to work remote, rather than driving into the, the schools where the kids were, they're just keeping little kids at home. So those kids in all likelihood will all return in the fall. So that will leave us with, in the middle of the worst pandemic in a century, our numbers are off by a few hundred people. Carol says schools in the archdiocese are adhering strictly to COVID-19 protocols. One of the reasons we've been super successful in keeping the children and the faculty safe is because everybody within the building has been following the protocols religiously, you could say. Mission Grammar School in Boston's Mission Hill neighborhood has provided expensive weekly COVID testing for staff and pool testing for students. Third grade teacher Christina Vidania, who has not been vaccinated yet, says the transition to in-person learning has been smooth and safe. From the beginning, we've been very supported. We've been very um, taken care of. The shields, the masks, staying our distance, and the kids knew that too. And the families were respectful of that, you know, making sure they don't go out of town, making sure that if the kids were sick, they stayed home. I have a husband at home who's type two diabetic, so he's at risk. If I didn't feel safe, I wouldn't have been back. At Bishop Fenwick High School in Peabody, Brianna Benoit is glad to be back with her friends and teachers. I'm ready, I'm good, I'm ready to like see other people and stuff. I feel very safe and I think that Fenwick's doing a good job. Mission grammar teacher Christina Vidania is now fully vaccinated. She was able to receive her shots shortly after our visit to the school. Coming up, seeking equity in school and beyond. <laughs>